That's great. For the, the comic yes. relief. Yes. <laughs> oh, no. We, we, we're ready to go. Ball. All right. So Thank you so much. Into the air. <laughs> yeah. All right. Huh? We're in. I was talking to AOL. They want us to do a second season. No offense, they want it, right? Wait, hold on, hold on. Before you drink, let's make another toast because I want to acknowledge how this started, right? Remember? That's the picture of John Buscemi, our dad, who suggested that we do a web series right at that bar. We lost him in December. This was the exact moment where mm -hmm. he suggested that we do a web series. Exactly right. And then I came up with Park Bench, and here we are. And that is the moment I thought of doing Bench Talk. That's right. That's where Bench Talk was born, I think, in right. this moment. Anyway, we owe a lot to him. So I salute, John. 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 Salute, John. Salute. Yes, thank you. Oh. Oh. All right, thanks, bravo, Dad. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Now, listen. So what's up? Second season, we have to maybe more pizzazz, right? Like, maybe we can have more music. That's well, good. Gonna, Let's I mean, try and get... Main you know what? Well, can main oh, it's not going to matter, time. Steve. Why, why are you doing this anyway? You're hosting a talk show on AOL. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. You know, AOL's the proving ground where you work out all the kinks until you make the big move to CompuServe. <laughs> <laughs> How did you parlay being the lead in an HBO series into a talk show on AOL? Do you have a third, even less talented brother managing you? <laughs> I am. It was a joke. Come on, Michael. Michael and Steve, look at you two. The amount of money your parents must have saved on Halloween masks. God bless you. Oh, Steve, you're doing better than this. Who told you you should host a talk show? Well, I want to work. I want to do something different. I don't want to be... This is to going to be very different. This is historic. You're, you're the first amphibian American to host a talk show. Oh, <laughs> Seriously. Amphibian American. By the way, are you all set back there, uh, Mr. Buscemi? You need any uh, drinks or flies? <laughs> <laughs> you see, because you're a lizard person. I get it. I get we got it. that, you know. All right, good, good. Wow. You know. Not that. sure Geo got it. <laughs> You're gonna have to neuter this Nothing guy. Nothing gets by Geo. Nothing gets. I just want to. Don't. You Especially know. carbohydrates. Oh. 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 I've used that one before. You may have seen it. Do you think this is easy? What we do? I could do this show better than any of you guys. You think so? You think, yeah, you think it's I easy? I spent years studying under the tutelage and red pubic hair of Conan O'Brien. No. Oh, that's right. He was the Conan dog. Yeah, you could he learn a Conan. lot from me, you bitch. Yeah, Last year we had Dick Cavett who was a pretty good talk show guru. I'm already asleep. <laughs> I'm literally asleep. Ooh. That went over the edge a little bit. That Please, <laughs> I've held on to three viewers who haven't clicked away to Seinfeld interviewing the seagull in the Mazda Miata. Let me teach you. You have so much to learn, Steve, so much to learn. All right, I think we're gonna have to take Triumph up on this and just uh, maybe go outside and you can show me, you can show me uh, your know-how. Yes. Great. Let's do it. Okay, good. good. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Let's fucking Let's do, do this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with legendary character actor and inept talk show host, Steve Buscemi. Steve, thank you for having me on your show. The internet's great, you know? Isn't it great? Yes, You I... can make your show without network executives watching what you do. Or anybody else, for that matter. <laughs> <laughs> and to do it on the mean streets of New York City. So where else can you find 240 different types of food? I mean, other than when you smile. Oh, come <laughs> you on. See? Because come it's on. in your teeth. Yeah, yeah oh, I got it. Yeah. So, man, we got it. Sometimes you go, you know, you do a joke, and then you, you like, go a little bit too far, I think. Exactly. <laughs> Steve. Yeah, oh, okay. 
Wow, you're getting another you cigar. Know, you really have the makings of a great show. I love the setting. I love the, this park bench in particular. Wow. Is the very same park bench your brother Michael sleeps on in between acting games. Oh, that's not true. <laughs> you're a legend, a legendary character actor, which is a polite way of saying there's something wrong with your face. <laughs> Oh, come oh, on, a character actor. Okay. How do you get your eyes to bulge like that? <laughs> By looking in the mirror? Oh my God! Look at my face! See what I'm saying? I get it. I get okay. it. Okay. No, I kid. You know what people say? People say you're a real chameleon. Chameleon? Yeah. I mean, a real chameleon. <laughs> actually. <laughs> no, no. Seriously. I don't think you're supposed to, you know, denigrate your host. I mean, if that's what you're trying to teach me. I, I mean, I, I try and... I'm, I'm the host now. You are uh, my guest. Okay, great. It's We're okay in... to denigrate your guest. What do you hear more from fans? I loved you in The Big Lebowski, or I know, I know a really good dentist? <laughs> Now you're, See, now, we're the, on, you're, now you're back on the teeth of hideous. So you need to have eyes or people teeth. People are relieved. Believe Is that all you have? They were about to click away. They were like, <laughs> I better hear a teeth joke or I'm out of here. See, now you're making me self conscious because now when I laugh, I now don't. Now it's working. I don't like really laugh. I, well, this is discomfort. Now people is... are watching. Okay, let's, let's bring the subject to Boardwalk Empire. Okay, yes. You were great. High yep. budget show. Yes. Tell me this: Who has deeper pockets, HBO or your gums? <laughs> <laughs> you see what I did there? They were intrigued, and then boom! <laughs> okay, now, I brought it all home. You, you, you almost bit me on the cheek. So just no. That was a that was a kiss. Okay. Oh, thank <laughs> oh, you. Okay. Thank you, Trey. Who was your favorite actress to work with? Well, I liked Kelly McDonald. Kelly McDonald, beautiful yeah. girl. Did you ever try to get uh, Kelly drunk and then bring her back to your terrarium? <laughs> no, come on. You made these jokes already. People can't get enough, yeah. trust me. OK, what else you got? Steve, I wanted to thank you for the time you spent here. Oh. You're an American institution. You're welcome. Much like baseball, in that people think about you when they need to kill an erection. <laughs> <laughs> This is nothing personal, Steve. I think, oh, It's not okay, just you good, good. who I mean, has this face. I see. No, everyone. <laughs> Please don't tell him. I won't say it. Please. Don't worry. Nobody say a word, OK? He can't handle it. It's hard enough for him okay, having listen. to be on an AOL show. Nobody even has AOL. OK, we're going to cut that part. Oh, I have AOL. I'm on AOL. Actually. Exactly. I have AOL. Point taken. I, <laughs> five old farts have AOL. <laughs> Thank, thank you for joining us. I want to thank you for everything you've done for our show, if we still have one. one and, uh, I appreciate it. Good luck to you, Charlie. Thank you. You've been I an excellent guest. But the best for you. And yeah, I, I see a great future. Really? Yeah, when you go back to HBO. Okay. Thank you. And give thank this you. up. That was, he's gone. He's gone. Wow. He's gone. That was some dog. I felt like I learned a few things. Yeah. What did I say? That I will never yeah, use. <laughs> that I will never use on any of the guests that we have on our show. Just do the opposite of what Trump. I think that's what he was trying to tell me. Just do the opposite. That's a good of what positive way of looking at it.